Topics covered here at the summit included everything from telehealth laws and regulations to Medicaid reimbursements and the role of behavioral health in telehealth services. This gives us an opportunity to at least um, be able to bridge that divide and provide a lot more access uh, for health care in Kentucky. State Very Senator exciting. Ralph Alvarado discussed Senate Bill 112, which goes into effect July 1st. The new law eliminates many of the restrictions around telehealth, so providers can be reimbursed for telehealth services. The law also addresses what's called pay parity and gives providers the same reimbursement rate as if they were physically seeing the patient in their office. So a lot of providers can start using a little bit of the newer technologies to provide care, everyday care for folks that they otherwise couldn't from a remote uh, location. I think it's going to help us reach people in rural areas of the state. It's going to help uh, reach people in our jail settings, in our school settings. Uh, it's going to hopefully help reduce our ER visits, um, let people have access to specialists, particularly mental health specialists from a remote location as well. We have a shortage of all those things here in Kentucky. So, and also the, the benefit of the, of the savings from that, uh, hopefully less ER visits for people who otherwise wouldn't have access to those specialists, uh, the amount of money that Medicaid can save, that uh, private insurance can save in the state, and the ease and the access for patients in rural areas. It's exciting in that there'll be more doctors who want to be part of our licensing board here in our state and join our state. Uh, the, the bill says that if you're going to provide services, you have to be part of the Kentucky Board of Medical Licensure or the Board of Nursing, whatever your respective board is. It goes beyond our state borders, if you will. It kind of opens up health care for people beyond just the lines of what defines Kentucky. Uh, and people can access a doctor or a specialist who might be in New York City or might be in Los Angeles or could be in China or India or anywhere in the world. And in the past, um, there were certain restrictions on uh, how you could provide services, who could provide services, and what type of services could be uh, provided. Uh, Senate Bill 112 essentially eliminated a lot of those restrictions. So it frees up health providers to be able to provide services to Medicaid patients. And, and this is important because um, we want to increase access to care for patients, and we're doing this through technology. And we want to increase um, efficiency for our health providers using that same technology.